Thank you so much to Skillshare for being our video sponsor today. Um, I was thinking about it, I was like, what does that actually mean? Like, how do you actually define luxurious lighting? Well, Hi, and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina, and today we are talking about quick fixes that you can make to your home that will give a luxurious feel to your home. These are instant fixes that I think you're going to really enjoy, and there's something that you'll be surprised how easy they are to execute in your own home and how quickly it can transform your space. If that sounds like something that you're excited about, make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and leave us a comment and let us know that you want more luxurious interior your styling tips and hacks in the future. So without further ado, let's jump in. For tip number one, you want to make sure to add some velvet. There's just something about velvet that just gives your space an instantaneously luxurious feeling. It's soft, it's plush, and when you add velvet pillows to your bed or you add them to your sofa, it just gives it this, ooh, this sort of sink in luxurious kind of feel that it's just hard to not just absolutely love. The fun thing about velvet is that whether you're working on a budget or you have a limitless budget, there's always some velvet out there for you. So you can do solid velvet. It's really nice to do maybe some solid whites and creams on a white sofa. You could also add a a little bit of color and infuse it with maybe some dark mocha or some deep gray colors onto your sofa. And these will just really give you a nice little jump. You can do that on your bed, you can do it on your sofa, but you can also think about your upholstery as you're purchasing items for your home, an instantaneous lift to your space would be bar stools that have velvet on them. This would velvet and brass would be even better, I think, but this is how you can really quickly transform your spaces without necessarily having to buy everything new. I'll leave some links below for some of my favorite velvet pillows and velvet bar stools and things that, that way you can shop our favorites and be able to find something quick and easy. I'll make sure to include all, all budgets for you, that way you can really have some fun. Tip number two is to add luxurious lighting. And when I say luxurious lighting, um, I was thinking about it, I was like, what does that actually mean? Like, how do you actually define luxurious lighting? Well, to me, luxurious lighting has something a little bit extra about it. It's the quality is really good, the details are really thought out, the materials are just something a little extra. So maybe you might be looking for um, a lamp that has alabaster or marble. You're looking for a really high quality brass finished lamp. There's something classic, but also something that just feels really, really special. And I think that the easiest way to do this is to update your table lamps and your floor lamps, because obviously you don't need an electrician for that job. I mean, if you happen to be an electrician, then perfect. Go order some new sconces and some overhead lights and just go to town. But if you're looking for a quick fix, I really suggest that you look at your table lamps and your floor lamps because your lighting is probably on, besides the furniture and the paint in the room, or that's probably the most impactful thing that you're going to do in the space because it really carries the weight of the space. So if it's really, really casual, basic lighting, it will tend to pull the entire space down a little bit. So if you add something that has a more luxurious feel, then it will really give your space a really good lift. I'll leave some links as well down below for items that I think you should definitely be shopping. It's not about budget, it's really about eyeing those details and those finishes and really getting the most for your money. So I'll try to give you a variety, no matter what your budget is, something that you might wanna look at that'll maybe even just inspire you or maybe something you might wanna purchase as well. Tip number three is to add accessories to your space that will really add a luxurious feel. So if you have a lot of rustic wood in your space, if you have a lot of things that are distressed, that will definitely give your space a more casual, more rural vibe. So if you're trying to do the opposite of that and give it a more luxurious feel, then you really want to think about the materials that you're adding, just like the lamps. Those materials are materials that you can really just add over and over to your space. So marble, 
brass. You want to look, think about your finishes on those items. That really makes a big difference too. You can use clear glass. That, that's something that just really has just a more luxurious feel to it. Um, I think that coffee table books, you guys know if you've hung around this channel for, for very long, you know I'm really passionate about the coffee table books. You really need to invest in some nice big coffee table books. If you have little piles of lots of little things, it doesn't give off a very luxurious look. So try clearing off your coffee table, clearing out your spaces, and think about adding larger accessories that are upscaled and have a really high quality to them. And I think that will instantaneously add luxurious feel to your space. Oh, and I'll probably leave some links for you guys for that as well. I just have fun. I, I, I'm shopping all day long, so it's fun to be able to give you guys links and you'll have to let me know if you find that helpful or not. And then if you do, then maybe we'll do some more of them because <laughs> I always love an excuse to shop anyways. <laughs> I wanted to take just a moment and thank Skillshare for being our video sponsor today. You guys know that we absolutely love Skillshare. It is such an amazing platform. It, it really is this home for those of us that are lifelong learners, creatives, and apparently I've discovered there's all kinds of amazing classes on the site that I didn't even know existed. Because we were talking about luxury today, I just simply typed in the word luxury on the website to see what kinds of things came up and wow, was I pleasantly surprised. So some of my personal favorites that I am now going to be watching are Where and How to Find Global Jobs on Luxury Yachts by Shripad Vaidya. I don't know about you, but if they can tell me how to get a job on a luxury yacht, I am all in. That sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? What I love so much about Skillshare is that it is less than $10 a month to have a membership with them. Skillshare has very kindly hooked us up. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership so you can explore your creativity. Everything's down in the description box and thank you again to Skillshare for being our video sponsor. Tip number four is to roll out a rug. A lot of times what I see when I visit other people's homes is that they either forget to use a rug or the rug has gotten a little bit dingy. I mean, I know what it's like. I've got kids and dogs and it, it's, it, it happens, right? It, it just, the rugs a lot of times can look a little bit tattered, they can look a little bit worn. So switching out your rug can make a huge difference, but you need to switch it out with the right kind of rug. And I was thinking about all the different scenarios with the rugs because I was like, oh, so add a silk rug because that's beautiful and it's really soft, but you could also potentially roll out a striped, a uh, cotton rug if the materials for the rest of the room had a more elevated feel. So I don't wanna narrow you down too much, but I want this to actually be helpful so you can actually execute it. So think about your overall space. If you have a velvet sofa, you might be able to get away with a cotton rug that has a nice high quality look to it. You could do a Persian with that. Um, you could do cotton, but if you really have casual furniture and you're wanting to dress up your space, Think about some of the silk rugs. I've seen them on West Elm. I've seen them on Amazon. Again, I will leave you guys links for the items that I am looking at myself, items that I've used in homes. It's, it's actually surprising. You think, oh, it's made with silk. It must cost a fortune. Actually, sometimes those rugs are not very expensive. Um, I think a lot of times having less pattern in the rug can also read more luxurious. So if you're just getting started, you may wanna do a solid silk Silk like rug and they have a lot of faux silk rugs nowadays that actually are really really affordable so whatever wherever your budget is there is a rug out there for you one of the things that I always do as well is that I look I was looking on West Elm like last night for my own room because um, I'm wanting to update my own rugs in my own home and I noticed that they have a rating that shows you maintenance on them, how easy they are to clean, how uh, how easy they are to maintain, and they've got that really nice little rating down below, and I think that's really helpful because it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're spending, if it's an eight by 10 rug, it might be under $1,000, but it could be $10,000 for a rug or even more. So it's really important to make good decisions for the spaces that you're putting them into, and I hope that, that you'll find these little tips really helpful. Thank you. 
Tip number five is to hang curtains. Now, if you've watched any of my home tours, then you know I don't have a lot of curtains in my house. But when I go to stage my listings, when we're designing our spaces, I've honestly been adding curtains to pretty much every single room for a while. And I'm actually, I've got people that have come out to measure to put curtains up in my own space because I just feel that curtains really add a feeling of luxury to your space. A lot of it comes down to adding the right kind of curtains. So you can absolutely use linen. You can use even something that's like a really gauzy, um, just really almost transparent material. But having them tailored is really important. Having the volume there, and even if you're adding velvet, you just want that sort of luxurious feel. It just, the layers that it adds to the wall and to the space, it just feels like all the details have been attended to. And that's what I think really separates a luxurious home from just a basic functional home. We're trying to add something a little bit extra to it. And so that's why I think add the curtains, finish out all the details, it will really transform your space. And stay tuned for the channel here as you see us putting up curtains at our own house. That way you'll see how it's gonna transform our home. And, and I know how, what it's like when you're working on a budget and you're just trying to get the basics into a space. But we're, this video is really meant when you've got the basics and you're wanting to take it up to the next level, these are the kinds of things that you can do. Think back to your own space and think about what you have and how these tips, if you applied each of them, how quickly that would completely revolutionize the space itself. So if you added velvet pillows, you add a couple really nice big coffee table books and uh, maybe one of those little gold knots that I just, I love those brass knots. I think that's such a great accessory. And then you dress the walls and you put down a beautiful rug. You can see really quickly. Let's finish out the lighting while we're at it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can instantaneously transform your space by just choosing the right things. It's, it really isn't about budget. It's really about choosing something that's just a little bit extra. And if you do that, it will have a huge impact on your space. So I hope that you have found these tips helpful for you. I know that I always love when you guys stop by. Um, we're, we have lots of projects that we're working on and I hope to be able to show you some of these ideas in action in the next few weeks. So definitely stay tuned, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up if you like these kinds of tips and tricks for styling up your space and um, yeah, leave us a comment, say hi, let us know that you enjoyed it. So thank you again for stopping by and um, cheers, I'll see you in the next one. Louie. <laughs> That's Louie, I promise.